Want to have your own business but don't want to start from scratch? Franchising might be the answer you're looking for. Welcome to the Level Up with Nick Lopez show. The show that brings you thought leaders in business, franchising, and high-performance personal development. Whether you're a buyer, seller, franchisee, franchisor, or a consultant, find everything you need to know about franchising right here. Own a business without the pain and financial losses that come with creating it. Find the time, freedom, and financial independence you can have through entrepreneurship. Learn how franchising can help you get there. Listen up and get ready for another episode of The Level Up with Nick Lopez Show. Welcome to The Level Up Show with Nick Lopez, where we have the absolute pleasure of learning from thought leaders in business, franchising, and high performance, personal development, And today, we have another special episode of The People at Lime, and today's guest, my goodness, we are certainly going to level up. I am excited for this conversation. Bethany Broughton, welcome to the show. So happy to be here, excited to share my thoughts with you today. Absolutely. So I, uh, what do you do for Lime? I am the bid support team lead. I work under Jessica Smith. We call her my work wife. We are, I'm the appendages, she's the head. We're an absolutely fantastic team and we handle general support, a little bit of tech and mainly proposals and helping support our partners with those. Wow. So my gosh, clearly a critical Uh, aspects of the business and uh, support. Absolutely. It's a business. Money is important. Also, the clients are important. I handle two of those things. It's a little bit of a, it's a backbone of the company, but I take great pride in how far we've come with it and the feedback that we get from people. Oh my gosh. No kidding, right? And uh, how long has it been now uh, that you've been at Lime? Are we over three years now? January 20th was three years. So we are three years, almost one month. Holy cow. So uh, things have probably changed a little bit. Absolutely. I started, We it was a big concierge role that I started in, which is the role that I'm over now, which I think is a rare and fantastic opportunity to be able to guide people in that way. One thing I have noticed is the growth and the consideration that is put into Lyme and putting the right people in the right places. That's also one of the things that has kept me here, recognizing that entrepreneurship is hard, but it's rewarding. And it takes a certain, I'll I'll quote the Lyme values, tenacity and discipline to become a successful one. And we want people to succeed, period. We put the right people in the right places to do just that. So the processes around hiring and onboarding are more succinct and clear. And from a support point of view, the trainings and the general support that we offer is, as you say, world class. It is thorough and we are very knowledgeable. And I think that with the group of people we have, that that growth is just exponential at this point. And that's what I've noticed the most is our ability to change, adapt, and grow. Oh my gosh. When you talk about the past three years that that you've been at Lyme, we're now, what, top of 2024. So uh, COVID, supply chain issues in the paint industry, obviously, you know, social unrest and... uh, you know, everything that is going on, uh, you know, around the world and uh, quite a bit of, as you mentioned, change. And uh, when you're a high growth organization, it really uh, becomes important. It becomes critical uh, to get the right people in the right places, especially in a franchise organization where, you know, at home office, uh, you know, we're future-proofing the business. You know, we're uh, 
strategizing and adapting to those changes so that our franchise partners can uh, you know, appropriately grow their territory within their market and focus on growing and supporting their teams, uh, which then you know, support their customers. I, it's critical. And one of the most important parts of that is you know, the recommendations that we make to clients out in the field you know, being able to thoroughly build a proposal, uh, you know, our average number of line items on a proposal is probably seven different scopes. And, and so, and each scope has, you know, preparation and application and products and, and steps for each one of those uh, with the grouped price. And that's just one line. Well, clearly if you're in the field, and you're providing expertise to, to clients and consulting them on these different projects, it's, a, it's a, a lot of work to stop, you know, what you're doing in the field and build a world-class proposal, uh, one that's detailed and uh, matches the level of expertise that we bring to our clients. And so, You've seen early iterations of that support, uh, you know, all the way to where we are today. And, and so I want to hear from you, you know, how have you leveled up at Lime over the past uh, three years? Absolutely. That falls in line very exactly with my timeline. I came in at a time where we were switching CRMs. We were in a mm. big growth phase and I came in and I helped reorganize it. I also learned the platform that we were moving into, which put me in an excellent position to provide support for people because I knew the platform for them and I could lead them about it. We've started with residential. I also learned new build and I also learned commercial, which let us get into the commercial space as well, which was a very exciting time to move from just residential to things with blueprints. That was a whole new venture is very exciting. And after that, we continued to build our trainings. We have LEA fully fleshed out over the span of time I've been there. And it's very, it's very exciting to see everything evolve in that way while I've been here. Just everything gets more thorough, more detailed, and it's fantastic. The trainings and the proposals as well. The current iteration of proposals are so detailed and we get such good feedback. We have smart, successful clients and we have a smart, good looking proposal, if I say so myself. And I believe that what you're putting out there to the client is right in a line with their values. And that's the thing that Lime does absolutely beautifully. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of different CRM options out there, clearly. And uh, you know, we've, we've uh, uh, partnered with platforms that fit our business. And uh, as a result, as you mentioned, you know, you're able to learn it and then train to it, but we don't want it to be complicated, right? And so simple is key from a user experience standpoint. So can you speak to the, you know, the certifications and how the process for a franchise owner or a sales rep, anybody in the field, how they can easily submit a proposal uh, and, and how long does it take to get that proposal back? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, first we start before you will even submit anything. We have a course to show you exactly the information that we need to be as accurate as possible for you. We also offer marketing adjustment meetings, which is where we will talk about your specific location and tailor the build and the price to your specific location. So we start you off on the right track, right on track for success. And then we also have certifications for building and pricing. 
to where you can learn that process. Make sure that you are doing it the line way. Make sure that across the nation, we all look the same and we all have the same standards, the same high standards. And we will walk you through that every step of the way. The Timeline is 24 to 48 hours once you submit one to us, which is a simple form. You submit a Google Drive link, who the client is, we handle the rest. You get to okay. go out there, focus on your lead, and we can handle the legwork for you. And we're there every step of the way to answer questions. Absolutely. And, and something that you mentioned over these past three years, it's probably been two and a half years now, but... Uh, you know, we created infrastructure to support our franchise partners at scale nationally uh, on the commercial side. So sourcing commercial projects locally and, you know, submitting those uh, proposals in uh, a responsive fashion. Uh, clearly, our partners are in market making the relationships and confirming scope and doing the contracting side but we're able to facilitate those commercial opportunities. Uh, and, and clearly, you know, as you mentioned, you know, you started a residential luxury, residential interior, exterior, into new builds and onto commercial. And so those iterations have just, you know, leveled up over the years. And although we're taking sophisticated recommendations and scopes. Those are thorough, uh, much like our thorough work that we do. Uh, we're meticulous and detailed, and we work with artisans that are capable of doing that because our clients are the type of clients that want to pay more to get more, right? They And, and we're like Uber Black. We're, you know, pairing... Uh, you know, those folks that want to upgrade to high grade products and artisan craftsmen, you know, on their custom home. And so uh, by us doing the due diligence in standardizing national solutions, you know, we work with national suppliers and, you know, you and Jessica, the rest of the team have worked with our suppliers, you know, to integrate those pricing or that pricing into the system uh, so that everything is talking uh, in sync. And you know, if you're out in the field, all that you're doing is taking a five minute video and uploading it to a form and you're getting a detailed proposal built in your CRM within 24 to 48 hours. That's on the commercial side and the residential side. My gosh. Uh, like how many proposals have you done, by the way? I have done, I believe, uh, thousands at this point. I know last year, uh, just alone by myself, not the entire team, but I did around 800. So I, I, I don't know, you've, you, it, you've seen a thing or two around the country. But yeah, clearly, you know, we are speaking to, you know, somebody that is uh, committed to our values Excellence being one, but is very humble. Uh, Bethany, you help franchise partners standardize their pricing in their local market, right? Uh, can you share, you know, what it's like helping locations, you know, all around the country with different pricing? Is that pure chaos or, uh, you know, what is your experience and what what is the process like from that standpoint yeah not chaos <laughs> thankfully um we have a really nice system built out that we approach each owner with because we recognize that every location has its own wants and needs so you will go and do a what we call just a market test which will be a video and information that you will send to multiple vendors to see what the market is like in your area you will send those to us and we'll have a meeting and we will go over hours break down hours explain everything to you and we will see what the other people all the other companies have given compare those see where you fall within them of course we will price you not at the top 
we'll probably hit one or two is usually where we'll want to put you with the price adjustment because again the clientele where we're paying for that quality we're paying for that luxury experience so we want to make sure we put you in the right phase if you will and yeah, it's we go crazy you, it's crazy when you work with a client that might not accept your proposal because the price is too low exactly mm -hmm. Yeah, positioning in the market's important where we're putting the pricing. Uh, you're making a sophisticated process simple, right? You're helping franchise partners index the pricing in their market. Exactly. It's uh, It falls back to support. We're here to support you in setting up your business for success. And so we have the knowledge to share and being able to do that and provide that support is vital, especially when you're first starting up to have that guidance, which is a great part of buying into line branch. Right. The, the pricing is standardized. The recommendations are standardized. The, the scopes and how the proposals are built out are standardized, but the proposal is certainly a sales tool, right? If it's all templated, okay, that, that gets us on the same page in terms of the scope. But as the uh, individual advising the homeowner, the customer, you're going to know those specific conversation points and recommendations along those different scopes. And so going in and putting in specific uh, nuances that, uh, you know, uh, show that you're customizing this on a personal level, uh, now you're making that proposal a sales tool. It is uh, tailored and customized to that customer. And uh, that's the, the yin and yang uh, of working with the bid team as you know they are providing standardized, responsive, uh, detailed proposals that are client facing. Um, and you're going in and tailoring them for that customer. Uh, my gosh, I remember being in the field and handwriting proposals. And we would like, our hands would cramp because we were very detailed back then. And we knew that if our, if we had a ton of handwriting across the proposal, you know, it just was a reflection of how much we cared, how much we were invested, how thorough we were going to be. And yes, we did care about uh, the details. And in our line of work, that's important. Uh, and, and so, you know, how do you create that detailed proposal, that detailed experience, right? Be able to do it in mass. Uh, clearly, there is a lot of proprietary components to that infrastructure. But at the end of the day, my goodness, uh, I used to dream about the day where, huh, one day we're literally just going to take a video and having to find a spot to get on a laptop and get out of a state of mind uh, where I'm working with clients and in sales mode and serving customers and then get into detailed mode and build a proposal. It just is, is constant gas and break. So it, it doesn't mean that you know, you, uh, you know, bypass on obligations, right? Just because you don't want to, but it sure does feel great to know that I'm going to have this important component of my business uh, supported by experts in uh, home office. Absolutely. We are very detailed and organized people at our core. And it very much reflects in the work that we do. And detail and organization is exactly what you get with the proposals. Well, uh, you can say that again, Bethany. My gosh, you know, uh, Lime clearly, uh, you know, values driven. What is your favorite Lime value and why? Yes, I know. Um, that every time I've asked this, it's still the same. I'm waiting for it to change because sometimes they do, depending on what sort of phase you are. And mm -hmm. mine is excellence. And I've always said excellence because 
I think it also embodies love, which is my other favorite. Because excellence comes from loving yourself enough to do what is right for yourself. And loving yourself is not always nice. You push those you care about to be excellent because of the love that you have for them. And I believe that they're intertwined in that way. I do my best and aim for excellence. And I want the same for those around me. And I want those, those people to have that mindset as well. And to work for excellence for yourself and others is to love yourself and others. Wall said, uh, my goodness. So I'm curious. Something has to be brewing there in the uh, bid support uh, department. If you wouldn't mind sharing, you know, how do you guys keep doing it? How are you leveling up at a high level? And, and how do you contribute to the team in, in leveling up? Yeah, absolutely. We hold ourselves to a very high standard. And as we said before, right people, right place, the team members that we bring on also share those same values. We are detailed and organized, which if you have ever been in any administrative space, you know, those are the two keys to being successful. I bring a lot of, I was, it's ironic, but support. <laughs> I really support our director, Jessica Smith, who is an absolutely fantastic, very humble person. And if within a team, you find your role especially when you've spent as much time together as Jessica have and I have. It's been over two years now. And you see where other people lack and you can pick that up. We know we have each other's backs. We have support and we have that safety within the support team. And I believe that our drive on a personal level, we're ambitious. We want good things for ourselves. We make goals. But as they say, dreams without a plan or yeah, goals without a plan, just dreams. You have to plan, you have to execute those things. And we're both very much like that in and out of work. And it really shows in the work that we do and the training and attentiveness that we give to everything. So I think that personal drive for better for yourself is probably a big factor that I bring in. Absolutely. And my goodness, when you talk about the past three years, right, uh, and embodying our values of love, integrity, mission, and excellence, future-proofing the business, right, being adaptive, and not just having ideas, but executing on those ideas, being consistent, doing it at a high level, it, it sure has been an honor having you on the team at Lime and and providing that support to our organization, really. I don't think there's a person at Lime that you've interacted with that, you know, when they walk away, they don't feel like, my gosh, uh, she has every intent to support me. And, and so I must ask, what is your superhuman power? I believe that my superhuman power is empathy. I've always been able to realize that each person is their own person. And to respect that is to understand that person. And that, that falls right into support. So right person, right position. <laughs> it falls right into that to be able to see someone really see them, not just have a conversation, but really see them and know what they need. And sometimes that's going to be a softer approach. Sometimes that's more of a direct approach. You have to be able to read that and be able to communicate in a way that that person can digest for them to be able to take the next steps that they need. And just my ability to communicate and have that personable approach in the professional is a skill that I have honed. Uh, I like to say I love communication so much, I got a degree in it. So the communication aspect and really seeing a person and knowing how to speak to them, that empathy is what I believe is my superhuman. And I, I have certainly seen that lived out firsthand. Uh, so again, thank you, Bethany, for your leadership. 
Uh, I'm curious, right? Uh, clearly, Lyme does things differently. And I'm, I'm just curious from your perspective, uh, you know, what thoughts would you share regarding, you know, the way that Lyme does business? Absolutely. You hear people say that things aren't made how they used to be. And I believe the guidance of quality over quantity has been lost to a large degree. And there, the reliability, even a charm, a stability to a business or a service when you apply the value that Lyme has, the, the love, the integrity, the mission, the excellence, all of it drives for such a rare customer experience in today's business climate. And in Lyme, everyone from an intern to your client gets the quality, the attentiveness and the guidance that is so hard to find in the business world recently. And Lyme is built on a system that gave rise to so many million and billionaires in decades past in the country. And it is a model that works to focus on the customer, to focus on the experience, to cater. And at Lyme, we have not lost sight of that. We've, we've created millionaires and we'll go on to create billionaires <laughs> because we have kept true to that guiding principle of the treatment of a person, employee or client that's the key to success. Oh my gosh, Wall said it is certainly about the people. And the wonderful thing about, uh, you know, for profit organizations is that, you know, they directly impact communities and they are built by the folks in the communities. And so it, it just, I really appreciate you saying that because it is all about the people. And that is clearly, I mean, I, I guess it's different. I guess I just assume that's how it's supposed to be done. But my gosh, it, it just goes back to my days in college. You know, I've always said that the industry's wooed me to it. And one of those you know, ways that it wooed me was that I was always hearing from clients, hey, thanks for showing up. Thanks for doing a good job. Thanks for answering your phone. Just those very basic things. And those ba basic things and, and a focus on people and doing things in a values-based manner, it's incredible how they're not just a differentiator, you know, for me as a college student uh, painting homes, but it would go on to even be a differentiator in franchising and knowing that those values and that approach and that way of doing business it is also a differentiator in this industry, this space. And, and so, uh, yeah, going back to, you know, that 18 year old, uh, the years are adding up now, so I won't say, how, no, I'm kidding. But uh, all the way back then, it was as simple as, hey, just show up, do a good job. And I guess that's a different way of doing business. Yeah, it's, it's holding, again, holding yourself to a high standard and making those things be actions that you don't even think about. And you don't realize that other people, like like the client feedback, you don't even, it doesn't even occur to you not to do that, to not give that treatment to people. And that's a huge aspect of Lyme that I really, really. Yeah, you know, one of my favorite areas is our subcontractors, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a differentiator for our customers. It's refreshing. And we talk about working with Lime being easy, enjoyable, and refreshing. That luxury customer, that's what we're delivering. And it's it, and so it's not just different for them. It's different for our subcontractors. Uh, you know, they're used to, you know, the industry being very price-driven and uh, generally it's taking a while to get paid and, you know, they're not being treated ethically along the way. And that is not enjoyable for anybody. And so just doing basic things like uh, loving and serving on your artisans. Hey, and guess what? By the way, we do a bunch of other great things like manage the account and uh, provide you jobs consistently. And guess what? They happen to be 
in the luxury segment. Uh, and we're going to pay you right when the job's done, right? So those very basic things, again, just shows up as a differentiator. Uh, it sure is fun, uh, you know, doing life and business with other individuals that are committed to creating a lot of value in, in the high-end uh, home improvement space and doing it in a way that reflects uh, values that focus on people. Uh, and everything else falls into place. It's, it's fun doing it with folks that are aligned in, in those core values. So Bethany, it's an honor. Thank you so much. I know you are super busy supporting all of our owners. So thanks for making time out of your busy schedule and supporting me throughout this episode. <laughs> I have certainly leveled up. I, I, I can't even count the amount of times where I was inspired by quotes that you shared. Uh, I, I'm inspired by who you are, the way you show up. And uh, thank you for all of your support and everything that you do for Lime. If anybody would like to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Well, absolutely. We'll just throw out my Lime email. It's uh, B. Broughton. As I say, that's just brought on, put together at limepainting.com. And like I tell anyone that talks to me, if you have any questions, I'm happy to help. Absolutely. Uh, Bethany, thanks for helping me level up. Uh, thanks for helping Lime level up in such a critical area of the business. Uh, I know our franchise partners uh, just couldn't do it without you and the folks on your team. Uh, if you like this episode, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow and bring thought leaders like Jessica onto the show. Drop a comment down below and contribute and help us continue to level up. Bethany, thanks for being on. And as always, level up. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Level Up with Nick Lopez show. Remember, it's never too late to get started on your entrepreneurial journey. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed today's segment. Catch us again next week and visit LimePainting.com for more of the Level Up with Nick Lopez show.